For this video, I'll be working through question one of the level three 2017 waves exam. Right, question one. In 1845, Dutch physicist Byers Ballot demonstrated the Doppler effect by listening to musicians playing their instruments on a train as it passed them by. Um, one musical, uh, one musician played a note with clarinet with all fingers hole, finger holes closed. Clarinet can be modelled as a pipe that is opened at one end and closed at the other. Length of the clarinet is 0.6, uh, 0.613 metres. So we'll just put a box around that because that's something we're going to need to know. Speed of sound is 341 metres per second. Um, question A. On the diagram below, draw the first harmonic fundamental standing wave and label the nodes and the and antinodes. So at the closed end, you're going to get a node because the movement of the ear isn't really going to be moving at all. So we've got a node here and we're going to have an antinode here. So it means we're going to have top and the bottom of the wave here. So it's probably a bit easier if you turn your page. I'm not. I'm a bit artistically challenged, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this very well. But you want it always to be curving. Oh, that's not very good. I'll try and have it always curving. There we go. It's a bit, bit wonky, but you can see it's a quarter wavelength. This is the node, and this is the anti-node. Anti-node, because we are labeling. Sweet. And just for brevity, the, uh, the length is equal to quarter of a wavelength, because that's half a wave would be one full. I'll just draw it up here. That's half a wave. This is one full wave. Right, B. The clarinet produces a fundamental frequency and several harmonics. Explain why the clarinet does not produce any even harmonics. So I'll just pause the video, write the answer, and then go. Right, so I've said the clarinet is an open and closed pipe. We can see that. There's the open end, there's a the closed end. So any wave produced must have a node at one end and an, an antinode at the other. Because of this, only waves of quarter, wa quarter wavelength or quarter lambda, three quarters lambda or and five quarters lambda can fit an L, in other words, equal to L. For even harmonics, half wavelength, one whole wavelength, or three over two wavelengths would need to be produced. Check an S in there. Produced, which in this setup is impossible. Um, I'll just draw down here as well. This is how you solve um, for what your harmonics are. Not your harmonics, your overtones. And then from there you can figure out what your harmonics are. So we've already got the first um, the first harmonic, and this will be the third harmonic or the second overtone. Overtone just means the second one up. So overtones always just go from one, two, three, four, five. Harmonics are to do with the frequency. So the second harmonic is double the frequency. The third harmonic is triple the frequency. So the third harmonic is going to have a node at the end, another node in there somewhere, and then all that node should actually be over here somewhere. So that should be one full wavelength to there. That's very, very messy. And another... That's one half wave and a quarter. And then the next one's going to have... Oh, it doesn't have to be amazing. It's going to have two... Ooh, that is terrible. But whatever. You get the picture. So we have one full wavelength and a quarter. And we have a half a wavelength and a quarter. So this is the three quarter lambda is equal to L. And this is the 1 plus a quarter, which is 5 quarter lambda is equal to L. There we go. I'll flip this over so we can see. I'll move the formula sheet out. Right. When the train was approaching Bella at the speed of 5 meters per second, he heard a frequency of 39 hertz from the clarinet. Show that the frequency of the sound heard by the clarinet would have been 37 hertz. So just over here, it's a Doppler effect. That's the type of question it is, plus standing waves and pipes. 
Um, so this question is going to use Doppler, Doppler formula. Um, and we'll go find that over here. Here's the Doppler formula here. here. So the primed frequency or the, the observed frequency is equal to the emitted frequency of the real one times the velocity of the wave divided by the velocity of the wave plus or minus the source. And the plus or minus depends on whether you're going closer or away. So we'll just write the formula out. F prime is equal to F V wave over V wave plus or minus V source. Um, let's just write out with some F prime is equal to 139 hertz because that is the observed, the heard frequency. Um, F is, oh, we're going to find what that is. We're going to show, I'll just write show. Um, v wave, the velocity of the wave is 341 over here. Velocity of the wave is 341 and the source, put meters per second. Um, and V source is equal to 5 meters per second. I'm just leaving out the 3 ECF just because it's running out of space. All right, so what I want to do is I want to rearrange, or first, I want to figure out whether it needs to be plus or minus. So you can do this with a little bit of mathematical tricks um, by just looking at the top of the formula and figuring out what the number has to be. And I'll do that first, and then we'll go over like the fundamental stuff behind it. So the sneaky way is this number is bigger than this number. That implies that the denominator has to be smaller than the numerator, so it must be minus. So I'll write that out just below. F dash um, is equal to F V wave divided by V wave minus V source, and I'll just write as the train is approaching. Uh, Right, there we go. So the reason for that um, is when you derive this formula from scratch using the shifted, the primed wavelengths, the wavelengths decrease in size. In fact, I'll just we'll completely forget about that. That's like a scholarship question. I'll just leave it as that. You've got to know that the, the frequency increases or decreases. Um, it's too much in my video to try and go through the derivation for that formula. Um, right, so let's just rearrange for F. That's going to be easy peasy. So I'm going to move this. I'll put brackets around this just because why not. Move that up top and move the VW down below. So we're going to get F prime times VW minus VS divided by, I'm going to move that VW underneath. And that is going to be equal to F. And that is equal to, let's put some numbers in because why not. 3, 4, 1, minus... This means to be S yes, five divided by three four one times uh, one three nine, and that does indeed equal one three seven hertz. And three SF three SF. I better check. The, no, I haven't done any calculations quick questions yet. Right, a second clarinet player was standing. Beside Bella as the train approached, she produced the same frequency, 137, as the clarinet player on the train, causing, I assume it's how you say Bella, to hear beats. Explain why the sound wave reaching Bella from the clarinet on the train did not have a frequency of 137, and explain why Bella heard beats, and calculate the beat frequency. Um, so... I'll calculate the beat, beat frequency, then I'll pause the video and write out the rest of my answer. So F beat, that's easy. F beat um, is equal to, that's the modulus, um, F1 minus F2. And we'll just double check they actually give it to in the formula. Do they? Oh no, they don't. No, you've got to know that off by heart. Um, and that's just the difference between the two, so we'll write it out properly. It's 139 minus 137, and that equals 2 hertz. No matter what, if this is a negative number, the, the, the order doesn't matter. Like You could go 137 minus 139, it would give you negative 2 hertz, but there's no such thing as a negative frequency. So it's just the difference between, and that's that's where this magnitude comes in. This is, this is what's called the modulus. I think it's a modulus. It makes all the positive numbers, or all the negative numbers positive. It squares them, then square roots them. Um, sweet. 
Right, so what I've said is, as the train is moving towards Bellet, the observed wavelength, so lambda, is less, which causes a higher observed frequency from V equals F lambda, just the wave equation. Um, the velocity is constant because it's just a speed of sound in air, which doesn't change unless the temperature with pressure changes, um, or the type of air changes. Bellet heard beats as both tones have similar frequencies and interfere. When the waves uh, 180 degrees out of phase, deconstructive or destructive interference occurs. I misspelled interference, but whatever. And the observed volume is low slash quiet. You never hear it silence because you're in a three dimensional world um, and there's other noise and it's never really perfect. Um, so it's just less, it's just lower volume. Um, when the waves are in phase, constructive interference occurs and the observed volume is high slash loud. So that covers, so we've said, explain why the sound reaching did not have a frequency of that. Um, this here covers that because the, the observed wavelength is less, which causes a higher observed frequency. You could say that the waves are getting squeezed together, but there's not really that much room. Um, we've, said what, we've explained why they heard beats, and we calculate the beat frequency.